Well, I told him after the game, the only way to go do great things is to get on the field with great competition. And the only way is through. And you have to go, you have to go compete. You can't shy away from competition in, in anything. If you were running a business or in your relationships, and the same thing with sports, you have to go compete against the best. And it helps you to grow. It outlines your weaknesses and, and, and confirm some of your strengths. And, and, and for us, that's what we have to do. And, and, you know, as a program, we're going to go challenge ourselves. That's a commitment that we've made to our players. If you want to come to Indiana, we're going to go compete against the absolute best. For us, the ultimate goal is to, is to be a, a national contender. And, and you won't do that by not playing against teams in that same uh, in that same league. And so we've done that in the first couple of weekends. And I'm proud of the boys. We competed like crazy. You know, we had runners on. Had two runners on, and I think the second, third, and fourth consecutive inning there, and uh, weren't able to come through. You know, we, we misplayed a few balls in the alpha high sky and lost the ball in the sun, and we have to go back and get better. Um, but again, if you don't go challenge yourself, you won't grow. And, and so that's the, the kind of message afterwards for the team. And now we know, and, and now we have to go and, and grow. And I'm confident that we will. Um, but like I said, the, the only way is through, and we have to go through it. Coach, you guys face your first midweek challenge on Tuesday. Do you guys have any plans for that yet, or are you still figuring that out? Kind of still figuring it out. Kind of still figuring it out. <coughs> Um, you know, we'll kind of sit here and talk afterwards. Um, but but we do feel like we're going to get a spot on the mound to, to be ready to go. And um, it'll, it'll be good for us to get back out and play again and, and continue kind of the process. I did have one question on Zoom from uh, Carl James. Uh, coach, um, overall, the, uh, the pitching has uh, thrown a lot more strikes this weekend compared to last weekend, and especially today. Uh, what, what part of that is, is aggressive pitch calling? What part of that is just better execution? I, w I would say similar pitch calling, better execution, more competitive. Um, you know, the, just kind of the, the first time jitters getting out of the system and, and, and getting back after, filling it up and trusting your stuff to play in the zone. So it, it was it was similar pitch calling, um, but, but just a, a, a continued emphasis on attacking and um, guys were able to go out there and, and execute better. Matthew, you had some, some good swings at the plate this weekend. Can you, can you kind of talk about your, your mindset and your mentality at the plate and how you're continuing that? Yeah, well, even Clemson last week, I felt like there was a few things that I left out on the table, uh, some small adjustments that had to be made and got with Mercer and Weatherford and made those adjustments and then were able to kind of put them in action. Uh, still a few things that could have been done, but at the same time, it is positive looking at some of the things that I was able to accomplish toward the end of these last two games. And I think that's for a team, uh, for a whole team as well. Just the offense in general, we made some huge strides within the last, you know, six games, and uh, I'm very excited on where we're going to take in the future. Matthew, what's your approach uh, as a catcher when you're dealing with the pitching staff that obviously is having a rough time today? What, what do you do to try to calm them? I just try to stay with the pitcher, just kind of let them know that I'm battling back there with them, and I've always got his back, and I think they know that as well. I think it's important to realize for our pitchers that you know how good they are. I know we, we were able to see it for the fall and for the winter and majority of the spring, just how good of a pitching staff we have, how good the breaking balls are, you know how they attack, and Glenn does an awesome job with them and just being the competitors that they are. I think it's important that you know we all stay with them and realize you know how good of pitchers we have, and we're going to see it in the future. It's coming, so I'm excited about that as well. Coach, a big road trip like this is usually a lot of bombing opportunities for a team like this. How, how do you feel that's important for the rest of the season moving forward? Oh, you, you hit the nail on the head there. It's, it's critical. It's critical. You, you build relationships and you build trust. Right? A, a team that doesn't trust each other is a team destined to fail. And a team that, that has trust and, and has compassion for each other and empathy is a team that can pull together. Right? You pull through a day like today and... And, you know, it, it is one day, yeah, but the, the, the relationships and the bonds that you, you build through that last a, a season and last a lifetime. And so this group is a tight-knit group. It's a, it's a group that's building friendships and building relationships, and those will pay huge dividends um, for us into the future. I'm, I'm certainly confident of that. Anything else? Sorry, one last one on Zoom real quick. Uh, back to Carl James. Uh, yes, Coach. About uh, Morgan Colby, he's, uh, his, his bat has really seemed to be coming alive this weekend. Uh, what are you seeing in, in his improvement uh, at the plate? Yeah, Mor I thought Morgan actually, it's funny you say that because I just talked to Morgan as I was walking up about how proud I was of, of his growth and, and, and his adjustments. You know, Morgan made a really nice uh, adjustment to, to really try to focus on um, driving the ball to the middle of the field the other way, stay over the plate, and then trust his his terrific ability to manage the inside part of the plate. And, and he's done that 
Uh, Morgan is a is a supremely gifted uh, athlete and has worked incredibly hard and has earned the right to be confident. And, and I, you could just see in his body language, he was a, a much more confident player and, and was able to, to really trust his plan and, and execute it and had a, a really nice week. And I was very, very proud of Morgan.